I'm going to start off by talking about PHP on the command line. We usually use PHP as a, a web server, so we're typically making requests from the browser. But it's also a very powerful command line scripting language. And I think as PHP developers, we already have the skills to make good use of this. So great time for me to show you. The simplest is to just run PHP interactively from the command line. To do that, you use the dash A switch. This just gives you a prompt. You can type standard PHP stuff here. So uh, we can echo hello, and it just echoes it and gives it the prompt. You can add things together and do whatever you need to here. Um, you'll probably see some examples later where I'm just dropping to here, PHP-A, to very quickly show you how something would work or to give you a little example. In addition to that, we use PHP with a bunch of different scripts. Probably you're familiar with running PHP with a dash F and then the file name. You don't, strictly speaking, need the dash F, uh, but you certainly can use it. We have a really nice ability to also capture the additional arguments that are supplied to the command line. So here I'm running uh, PHP with this args.php script. And if I send some arguments in true PHP documentation style, I think we should send apple and cherry, and I think I'll send the number seven as well. That script shows I have four arguments, and it shows me the array of the arguments that I passed. Now that comes from argc, count of arguments, and argv, um, which is the vector or the array of arguments. Spot the extra one that PHP shows me args.php as the first array. Let me show you the script that actually generated that. Here it is. So the total arguments, argc, the count of how many came in. Your file name will always be the first one of these arguments and then everything else that comes after, so from index 1 in argv, is the parameters that were passed. This lets you write command line scripts that handle incoming parameters, uh, that, that let you run automated tasks, perhaps using cron on the command line, and pick up some additional arguments that come in at the time that you run that script. So that's pretty useful. You can also make PHP into an actual shell script something that you can run from the command line. If you look what I have here, you can see that I have this cli.sh. So that's a shell script. Uh, it's green, and if you look over at the left, the permissions, if you're familiar with a Linux Unix box, this just means that the file is executable. So I can run this file on its own. Have a look what's inside this file. We start off with this it's called a hash bang. The hash, the exclamation mark, and then the path to the executable that should run this particular script. So we're just saying to bash that, please use user bin PHP to execute the following. Then we paste in our PHP script as we usually would. So this lets us make uh, executable scripts, perhaps things that are called by other automated tools, a uh, really nice way of, of wrapping up commands that just need to be run on, on the command line, but they're actually PHP inside. I find this super useful and it's something that uh, PHP developers don't do a lot. So you can see it's a super simple script, it just echoes something. And to run it we just need to use the dot slash, which is what we need to run a script that's in our current directory when we run it. Bash knows it should use PHP and it passes the code that we sent quite nicely. So there's a few command line tricks there uh, for running files from the command line, the interactive mode of course, passing the arguments and also making uh, an individual file into a shell script.